Welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks. Ace here, and I hope you're doing well. So today, someone actually asked me if I could do a quick update on the calendar. And since I haven't done a calendar video in a little while, I figured it was probably time to update the win slots calendars for those of you that are anticipating VIP Level 2. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through these one at a time. I think we'll go ahead and start with the buffets. Okay, so good news about the buffets is they typically don't fluctuate in pricing. February is about the same as always. Looks like the whole rest of the month it's pretty open, and that's for yourself as well as yourself and a guest. March is pretty solid too, 1,200 gems across the board, and 2,400 if you're just looking for yourself as a guest as well. April's where it gets interesting, so around April 12th is definitely when you're going to see a little spike in pricing. So last time I had no idea why they were doing this. As it turns out, that's actually Easter. So don't expect any comps on Easter brunch. May was also just a teensy bit crowded, partially because of Memorial Day, which takes place uh, the whole weekend of the 23rd through the 25th. So don't expect a lot of buffets that day. And of course, on the 10th is Mother's Day, so no comp buffets for mom. June doesn't have any real special days in it, it's just going to be unreasonably hot, and a good place to go would be the buffet. Same deal with July. If you're not barbecuing for July, 4th of July weekend is actually going to have some open buffets. Consider it. And of course, August is only going to stretch out to the 15th because today it's the 17th and it only goes out of rolling six months. Alright, next let's have a look see at the King Rooms. So the King Rooms for the rest of February are looking pretty standard. They get a little pricey towards the end of the week, but you actually can get a pretty good bargain for most of February. March has a lot of blackout days. March Madness is partially due to this, and we have some spikes in pricing somewhere around St. Patrick's Day. Incidentally, I'll be in town that week, so I'll be taking advantage of a little bit of the surge pricing. It's still pretty reasonable, though. April generally is going to be pretty quiet, except spring break towards the end of the month over here, so we'll see a few blackout dates that week. I suspect that there's also a convention. I'm just not sure which one. May overall actually isn't too bad. You're actually looking at some pretty reasonable rates, especially over Memorial Day weekend. Also, the 10th is looking pretty cheap too, so if you do want to take mom to win for Mother's Day, feel free to. June is ungodly hot, but if you're looking for a good time to go, I'd probably say the first week or the third week of June are going to be the most economical. Probably fewer conventions and concerts that week, but the temperatures will still be relatively reasonable, and you can hide inside with the AC. Needless to say, in July, we are looking at July 4th weekend being blacked out. Otherwise, July, not such a bad time. Again, it's going to be a little hot, so if you're from a cooler climate or don't like the heat, I'd say stay out of the kitchen. August is also looking much of the same, since the kids will be going back to school pretty soon. And of course, September, back to school time. If you're looking to go for Labor Day weekend, I might advise against that. You're going to see some blackout dates. Otherwise, most days in September are looking pretty average. And for the resort double customers, here we go. So once again, February is going to be looking pretty clean. Aside from the 20th for some reason, you're actually looking at some relatively reasonable rates. Not as reasonable as the King Room. Once again, March being plagued by March Madness as well as St. Patrick's Day, you're going to be looking at some blackout dates for about a third of the month. April actually has more blackout dates for the double rooms. Avoid the first full week of April if you're looking for a double room, as well as the third week. May, once again, is going to be blocked out for the first part of the week, as well as the first part of the Memorial Day weekend. Although Mother's Day week is looking pretty solid. All the way through June, looks like prices are pretty consistent, so if you're looking for a Father's Day getaway, June might be a good way to go. To no one's surprise, 4th of July weekend is blocked out again for the resort double rooms, but it doesn't look like these rates go any higher than 5,900 gems. So, if you have a decent gem bankroll, July might be a pretty good way to get away for a week. August is also looking much of the same, since the kids will be going back to school pretty soon. It's probably a good time for them to try and bring in some new business. 
And again, for some reason, after Labor Day weekend, there are two days blocked off on the 15th and 16th. I suspect it's either a game or maybe it's going to be a convention. One of the two, but so far it doesn't look like football has affected the room rates too terribly. But that's all we have for today's video, my spinners and sharks. If you enjoyed today's video and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I think about this time next month, if you guys really want to see the October dates, I'd be happy to go ahead and do another win slots calendar reminder. But until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas.